Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome. Today I'm very excited because we're talking about one of my favorite subjects, books. We love books here at the library and I have lots of fun ones lined up to talk about. The first book I'd like to talk about is this lovely, very simple board book called Little You by Richard Van Camp. Let's take a look. Little You by Richard Van Camp. Illustrations by Julie Flett. Little You Little wonder. Do you see that family looking at their little baby? Mm. I just love the illustrations in this book. And I love the message that this family loves their little baby wonder so much. Little wish, gentle thunder. Did you ever feel as a kid that your mom was protecting you from the thunder? Like the mom in this book seems to be. And look, there's a little kitty cat there too, and she has a baby to protect from the thunder. You are mighty. You are small. Look at that baby playing in the beach. Do you remember playing in the beach when you were very young? You are ours, after all. Look at that. The mom is giving the baby a nice little kiss on the cheek. How lovely. If you'd like to see more of Little You, you can check it out from our library and there'll be links down below as always to get a copy for yourself. As we're talking about reading, I'd like to teach you a song that I learned from one of my favorite children's performers, Lori Berkner. It's called These Are My Glasses and it's about putting on your glasses to read a book. So we're gonna make glasses like this and then we're gonna make a book like this. You can put your glasses on like this and you can open up your book like this. And you can follow along with those motions I just did as I sing the song. These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Then I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up my book. Let's try that one more time. I love putting on these googly glasses with you guys. Here we go. These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Then I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and close up the book. Good job, friends. Thank you for doing that song with me. Hey there, it's time to write. You can grab a pen and follow along with pen and paper, or you can trace and follow along in the air, or you can just watch. Any practice is great practice for building those pre-literacy skills. So here we go. All right, I've marked my word out here so I can trace along these dashed lines, and you could have your mom or dad do the same for you as you begin to practice writing. Let's start with this capital letter here. It's a B. Next we have an O. Another lowercase O and A K B O O K B O K Book. It's time to do a rhyme. Will you join me? You need to get out five fingers, and these five fingers are going to represent five books at the library. 
Five little books at the library. Five little books as great as can be. Along comes a friend with a library card and takes one home to read. Now how many do we have left? One, two, three, four. Let's do it again with four books. Four little books at the library. Four little books as great as can be. Along comes a friend with a library card and takes one home to read. Now there are how many left? One, two, three. Three little books at the library. Three little books as great as can be. Along comes a friend with a library card and takes one home to read. Boop. Now there are how many left? Two. One. Oof, it's hard to bend both of your fingers at the same time. Let's switch to these two. Two. One. Two. Two little books at the library. Two little books as great as can be. Along comes a friend with a library card and takes one home to read. Now there are how many left? One. Let's do the rhyme one more time. One little book at the library. One little book as nice as can be. Along comes a friend with a library card and takes it home to read. And now there are no more books left so they can all return their books and exchange them and read more books. Woohoo! Another book I'd like to talk about today is Lola Loves Stories. Of course, we have to read a book about loving books in a video about loving books, right? Let's see what this book is all about. Lola Loves Stories by Anna McQuinn, illustrated by Rosalind Beardshaw. Lola's daddy takes her to the library on Saturdays. There goes Lola and her dad off to the library. Oh, I'm so excited. That's one of my favorite places to go. The library is very busy, but Lola finds some excellent books. Oh, look at all of the kiddos looking at books in the library. <gasps> it looks like Lola has found one. It might have dogs on it or maybe wolves. Hmm. Lola's daddy reads the first story at home. It's about a fairy princess. Oh, so Lola was able to check the books out and take them home. Isn't that the best part about the library that you get to take your books home with you? As many as you can carry. All the next day, Lola wears a fancy dress and a sparkly crown. She is a fabulous fairy princess. That is another amazing thing about books, isn't it? You can read a book about a fairy princess and then you can imagine you are one. When you read a story, it can take you to all kinds of different places and open up your imagination to be all kinds of different things. On Sunday night, Lola and her mommy read the next story. It's about an amazing journey. On Monday, Lola takes her friends on fantastic trips to places like Paris and Lagos. Look at that. So she read about travel and now she's imagining herself and her friends traveling to all these different places. Wow, amazing. If you'd like to see some of the other amazing places that Lola goes and imagines as she reads the stories that she checked out from the library, you can check this book out from the library and it'll be in the description so you can get your own copy. It is really wonderful to read about Lola and her trip to the library. And of course that was all possible because she got herself a library card. And if you don't have a library card, you can sign up for one. You can give the library a call, or if you don't live here in Mount Pleasant, give your local library a call and sign up for a library card. Then you have access to all of the books in the whole library. You can take them all home and go on all kinds of awesome adventures, just like Lola did. Well, friends, we've come to the end of our program today, and it is time to say goodbye. Will you join me in singing the goodbye song? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. 
Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.